I figured whilst I was doing a um, a care video for boa constrictors, I would do uh, rainbow boas at the same time. So I've got a quick video, mainly just for um, small rainbow boas. This is certainly not what you'd keep an adult in. Um, so the reason I'm using this plastic container, in England we call them rubs because they are a really useful box. Um, it's because it holds humidity really well and the wooden tanks don't do as well and I don't want to wreck a wooden tank with high humidity because I plan on putting her in a custom glass tank when she grows bigger. But that doesn't mean you can't do it properly. So there's lots of ventilation on this tank because as much as I want high humidity I do not want stagnant air, it's no good. So I've got a small fan here at the front which is powered by a battery pack here on the side. So I turn that on, off the fan goes and that drags air through. That means that the air is not stagnant, she's got fresh air being pulled through the ventilation holes at the back and I can maintain the humidity with a mister without humidity building up because there's just no airflow. Um, so just imagine that, a really stuffy, horrible, warm room. It's not the kind of air you want to be breathing. Even in the most dense of forests you'll still have air rushing through. So that's what we're trying to achieve here, um, replicating a little bit of forest floor. So. I'll show you inside, I'll turn the fan off for now because I've got the humidity exactly where I want it. Um, but I've got the uh, thermometer and hygrometer on the front here, so that is 26 degrees ground temperature. Again, it's winter time so it's cooling off a little bit towards the evening. Um, and 87% humidity, which for a baby I'm incredibly happy with. So, I shall show you inside the enclosure. I'm just going to have to climb up a little bit here because I have this on top of uh, some other animals. So got the ladder up, which uh, the camera doesn't want to show you. There we go. So I'll show you inside. I'm going to have to turn the flash on so it's all going to look a little bit weird, but hopefully you'll uh, get the gist of what's going on. And then I'll show you Skittles, who is the little rainbow boa in question here. All right, so I've got the flash on so it all looks a little bit like we're doing a ghost hunt here. Um, but I just wanted to show you on the lid quickly. I've got this grommet. I can pull that out and put in a cord for... Um, or pipe even, for the misting system that I use which means I don't have to take the lid off every time and disturb the whole thing keeps the humidity in without uh, without me having to stand here for ages basically so, lid off I've got a little water bowl over here that Skittles can fully submerge in if she wants to uh, this kind of doubles up as a hide but usually she's underneath the cork in the middle which actually, I can see she's right there um, she's got another little hide over here, which is an exoterra resin hide, which is uh, sitting above her heat mat. And the rest is just uh, decor, really. So she's got a little bendy branch, which is from Swell. Um, so I can just bend that into place and change the shape of it if I want to uh, mix it up a bit for her. And then just some plants, a um, little bit of foliage to hide around. So the uh, hygrometer probe is there, and the thermometer probe it's down on the floor here, just above the heat mat, so I can uh, monitor the uh, warm side temperatures. I know the temperatures on the cold side anyway, so that's all good. Um, so yeah, for a baby really that's it. I spray the enclosure down or I mist it. In fact, I'm going to spray it down today, um, even though it's looking a little dry. Uh, sorry, even though the humidity is fine, it is looking a bit dry. Which means I'm going to spray it down, turn the fan on, get the air running through while still having a nice humid environment, so I'll do that as soon as I'm uh, done filming here. But yeah, so Skittles usually hangs out right under here, and there she is. Absolutely stunning little snake, and she is so very friendly, so she doesn't love the flash on here, so I'm not going to disturb her too much, but I'll just let you see. What a little cutie she is. And as you can see, she's very small, so uh, this is a, I think, 35 litre rub. So I'm content with her being in here for a little while longer. And then once she's grown a bit, she'll have that uh, custom enclosure built with a full rain system and it'll be fully live planted and bioactive, so she should have a wonderful life in there. But you can just see the iridescence coming through, and that's nothing compared to what she looks like under natural light. She's absolutely beautiful. Um, so yeah, totally in love with this little snake. She's, um, she's you know, for a baby snake, they're usually a tiny bit 
by T. <laughs> um, but she's not at all. She's incredibly friendly, and that's just a testament to uh, to the chap I got her from, who did a brilliant job with her. Um, you know who you are. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm just going to pop her back in there for the moment, and then she'll find her own way back under that piece of cork once I've put it back in. Uh, she's currently eating fuzzy mice. And um, yeah, she's doing really well. So she's got a happy stat, matte stat here. And then underneath the rub, which I've put up on small feet, is, um, is the mat itself, which is then blocked by a thermal blocking board under that, so it's not leaking any heat into the wood below. So that's um, something that's quite important when you've got heat mats on wooden surfaces. Um, that's it for rainbow bowers. So any questions, as usual, let me know. And um, hope you're all doing really well.